Peace in from the black holes of Dakota Toritary, United States of Advertising. Stan Gibalisco here to respond to a comment uh, that was directed at the video quality of my headshots, like the one I'm doing right now with an iPad and a, an external earphone microphone combination, which a lot of people have liked insofar as the audio goes. But as for the video, one person said, uh, your, your face is, is always fuzzy. Well, there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, I do most of, my, uh, most of my selfies or faces, or occasionally to me uh, referred to as feces. <laughs> I do them all on an iPad with a... Uh, with a lens in it uh, that is intended primarily for communication uh, using things like Skype or very informal communications because that way I can at least see that my face is centered in the screen. I can also do these kinds of videos with the Surface Pro 2 but there are audio issues that arise with that uh, device uh, lots of background noise seems to creep in from the device itself for no reason, whether I use a microphone or not. So I use the iPad in order to do my faces. And that uh, this particular lens or this particular camera only goes to 360p, which is pretty low resolution. Now, if you blow that up to a full screen, especially a big screen computer, it's going to look fuzzy no matter how I process it. I do the HDR-ish enhancement on YouTube, mainly because I kind of like the way it imparts a slightly funky look to the whole thing. Uh, I'm doing that on this one, by the way, too. But it doesn't matter what kind of processing I use, it's going to look fuzzy if you blow that video up to a reasonable size because it's only 360p. Uh, mainly I consider my faces relatively uh, not terribly formal, not terribly... Uh, I don't worry about the professionalism of, the, of those so much, although I still want the audio to be decent. When it comes to really top-notch video, I pay particular attention to my technical videos where I write on the screen and draw diagrams. That's done on a Surface Pro 2 using Camtasia Studio program, screen capture. And I can make those videos 1080p, and I usually do. Other technical videos, sometimes I draw di or I raid diagrams directly from my books or... Uh, go to websites and show them, or do various other types of technical illustrations that require high resolution, and those two are 1080p. Those are done on the Microsoft, uh, not Microsoft, Hewlett Packard Envy uh, computer with the same Camtasia Studio uh, screen capture program. So those are the ones that concern me the most. Ones like this, even the ones about the, the audio testing. Now, if I was asking you about video quality and comparing various videos, then I would do different computers with different video resolutions. But I understand that these videos are not going to look terribly great when it comes to the pictures. They're just not going to look quite right. Uh, and they're not going to be sharp as can be. Those are the technical ones that I worry about that. So I don't really worry so much about how I look to you in my faces videos. But I'm very concerned about the technical ones. And those are the ones that I impart the greatest effort to. And they will, as much as I possibly can, make them 1080p. Otherwise, occasionally you'll find one at 720p, which is the back uh, camera of this iPad. But if I turn it around and put it backwards, I can't see where my head is and where everything else is. Relative, and I, so it's 
chances are it's going to look even worse because everything's in the wrong place. <laughs> you can't win. Fooey. Stan Gibalisco saying peace out. Signing off for now. Until next time. So long.